Water is essential for us, for plants, and for our crops. For just about everything on Earth. Without water, everything changes. During the last decades, we have more frequent and more severe droughts in Central Eastern Europe, and we are incurring very serious economic and social losses. Especially, I have to mention year 2003, was really an event, an intense, all European drought that actually changed this perception. So public actually became very much aware of the severity of droughts that can occur even in our region, and it can cause also severe damages. There have been other serious drought events in Europe over the last 10 years. In 2007, the eastern part of the region was severely hit, and again, in 2012, large areas of cropland were damaged. Many farms experienced crippling economic losses. Every year, it becomes clearer that the countries of Central and Eastern Europe are being affected by droughts that are more frequent and that last longer. To address droughts more effectively, the World Meteorological Organization and Global Water Partnership jointly launched the Integrated Drought Management Program in 2013. The Global Water Partnership Central and Eastern Europe was the first regional organization to join this program, bringing together 40 experts and organizations from 10 countries. And now the question is what is missing? Why does losses occur? Well, there's a problem with monitoring and the approach is that, well, only after having some symptoms, we start doing something about it. Instead, we should be more proactive, in most cases, in the agricultural sector that means adopting modern irrigation technologies. Od leta 2009 smo se na Agenciji za okolje odločili, da skupaj s Kmetijsko svetovalno službo v Mariboru in lokalnimi predelovalci začnemo z izdajanjem tedenskega biltena, ki vključuje napoved namakanje. Tedensko izdajamo napoved namakanje za prihodnih 7 dni in preko informacijskih kanalov Kmetijske svetovalne službe razprašimo ti informacije med predelovalce in na ta način omogočamo optimizirano porabo vode pri rastlinah in s tem učimo pridelovalce boljšega upravljanja z vodnimi viri in tudi zagotavljanje boljše kvalitete kmetijskih predelkov. Od leta 2000 do danes je kmetijstvo Ormoške občine bilo prizadeto z petimi hudimi sušami. Kmetije, ki uporabljajo namakalni sistem, so tudi povečale dohodek na kmetijah. Nasze gospodarstwo od 10 lat zajmuje się uprawą borówki amerykańskiej. Jest to roślina, która wymaga gleb lekkich, piaszczystych, przepuszczalnych i kwaśnych. Do jej uprawy potrzebna jest duża ilość wody, ponieważ na glebach lepkich woda dość szybko wyparowuje. W związku z tym nie poradzilibyśmy sobie bez stawu nawadniającego zbiornika, który doprowadza wodę do całego pola liniami kroplującymi. Usually people used to speak about irrigation in, in connection with the drought event, but we have a lot of other uh, methods that we can prevent the effect of the drought. So such are the small attention methods, such are the reduction of the runoff. For example, we have a pool or to have subsurface tanks or uh, plenty of different other methods. This is an increasingly complex challenge because drought affects not only agricultural production but other sectors as well, such as energy, transportation, urban water supply, and forestry. This results in competition between different land and water users for water. Water that is a scarce resource in times of drought. 
when you have a flood, you can you can fight with the flood. You can help the people. You know, there's something like this. But during the drought, uh, you can see anything. The people who are being affected need to act. The governments which are making policies need to act. There are solutions and there are technologies that can help make situations fluid again. Staring out the window, watching crops slowly fail and hoping for the next rainstorm, this will not help. Our program seeks to support countries in the region to develop more proactive drought policies and better predictive mechanisms. We cannot stop droughts from happening, but we do have the knowledge and experiences to put measures in place that will prevent droughts from becoming a crisis. <laughs>